Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are found around the world of Transformers. I'll also let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. So we've got 11 things to go through with you today, including some official Takara and indeed some third party stuff. So we're going to kick right off with Takara and Masterpiece Getsui. So I can't wait for these particular figures to be released uh, but some people are lucky enough to have Getsui in hand already so we can have a look at some images of him so there he is inside the packaging that's a bit of a better shot there for you you can see you've obviously got the track and um, you've got the connectors and we've got the gun um, there are all the pieces there and it looks like there's a stand as well I don't know if that's with Shuki or not from the background um, there he is compared with the size of Shuki so obviously Shuki looks a little bit bigger uh, gets so he looks a little bit more chunkier shall we say um, there they are together and then again there they are together on the track uh, so I think it's great again that you know you can put them on the track and still join and link them all together brilliant homage to G1 there there he is in robot mode uh, there he is, I suppose, scaled compared with some of the other Masterpiece figures. He's a quite a bit smaller than Starscream by the looks of it, but just a little bit bigger than Sunstreaker. And there he is from the side. And this is what's interesting. There he is, I suppose, as part of what he's going to be combined. So you can see he's a leg and that's how tall he is. So for the leg, he's going to be just about seven inches tall. So quite big, to be honest. I think that's about a Voyager class, isn't it? And there it is from the front so again really excited for this figure uh can't wait for them to be honest i do obviously really appreciate and think the moon studios ones look fantastic um but i've pre-ordered the takara ones and can't wait to see them last shot there in robot mode and we're going to move on to this thing which looks absolutely stunning so this is of course new ages take on skyfire it's h45 and i'm just making sure i got his name right it's firefox so you can see brilliant this is legend scale as well so i mean this is going to be so so detailed for the size it is you can see how articulate it is it's made up of plastic and die cast parts fully poseable lovely translucent plastic perfect perfect color scheme i think it looks great they've even obviously got the fact that you can switch the two emblems there when they eventually put it in uh, as you can see you can crouch fully poseable they're going to be able to do the gear walk as well which is of course from the valkyrie um figure really really clever alternate mode looks fantastic and just the main large gun he's going to be coming with some actual great as i say promotional shots there from new age themselves you can see and there he is off after starscream can't wait so this now is some information so i'm going to read a little about this so for people who play the renegade game studios um they you know the transformers game they've got uh the deck building game they've got the additional um dawn of the dinobots 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 pack and um what this is is exactly that it's an expansion pack uh for people playing this particular game so it features grimlock and the dinobots and there's new players and new cards the 60 player cards five oversized character cards one giant character card six player standees a rule book eight power move tokens and four reminder tokens so for those people who play them sort of games that probably means a lot to you for myself i've got to confess and put my hand up i don't really know much about that but i do know people who play it and i do know people who love it and they say yeah exactly that it's great so at a glance there's a number you can have between one and five players for ages 14 up and playing time again this is probably why i don't get time to play it it's looking at between 45 and 90 minutes and as i say it's a deck building expansion game set you can see all this you can take all this information off tfw 2005 if you want to know more about it and there indeed is the pack the artwork on the front looks great for that anyway so that's that right moving on this is quite interesting actually so this is taken from tfw 2005 but it came from twitter so this is for transformers animated fans and two animated shorts which considered lost media they've finally been released for our viewing pleasure so on twitter or if you go to the website on tfw 2005 you can follow the direct link so you've got the first link there which is star screams fantasy and again it's just a little video i'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it and then the other one is the transforms animated shorts of the logo and again this is both taken from tfw 2005 and i believe it's on t formers as well so if you want to watch that you can go and see it 
Okay, sightings, something that sort of came out of nowhere um, is the Authentics line. You don't really hear or see much about them, but the new Authentics line. So these are the, oh, they've probably got the Cybertron Battlers, that's the names. This is the only picture we've got of them. They were found at retail in America already, and I've tried to zoom in on it to give it a bit of a better um, picture shot there. But you can see, so the Authentics obviously are the really basic characters um, and figures. As I say, these were found in Walgreens and... Um, um, yeah, that's it in Walgreens, it says in America, and they've got five points of articulation. So something for the kids there, looking great. Right, this is really cool, to be fair. This is Icon Heroes again. So Icon Heroes did the Soundwave business card holders. This time they've done a pin badge collection set. You can see there. So you've got Soundwave, you've got Ravage, you've got Laserbeak, and you've got all the details about it right there. So again, TFW 2005, Icon Heroes announced a new addition to their officially licensed Transformer product line, available for pre-order today. Um, it's $40 for the set. They're limited edition pins. They're individually numbered with a matching number on the book, and it features a set of beautifully designed hard enamel pins. And as I say, we've just said that Soundwave's three inches tall, Ravage is 0.7 inches tall, and Laserbeak is 0.6 so if you like Soundwave and if you want to get some limited edition pins get on to Icon Heroes website pretty fast okay moving on now this is interesting because this is just some color images but we've seen some prototype images of this already so for those of you who probably recognize him um, this is of course it's Wheelie from Revenge of the Fallen but this is Dr. Wu's take on it and Dr. Wu's take is little monster so this is the color images that we've seen we've seen some gray prototype images of it this looks like they're going to be the standard but what they've teased with is they're going to be doing two limited edition colors as well so you're going to be get you're going to be available to get pink and orange if you do so want so this is the standard color there for the dr woo little monster uh, again the prototype images look fantastic but you're going to get your chance to get two limited edition colors as well if you want to right moving on a few more things we've got some more crankcase in hand images um i've just got a few of these again because these are quite interesting um seeing how he scales this figure here still hasn't even been officially confirmed or anything we, we initially we thought it was definitely going to be released and it was going to be a custom we don't know but anyway this is the person who's got this figure however they've got it the reason why i've got you these photos is to show you these bits here where you can see that obviously the bumper comes off which we know is going to be a weapon and these are the main reasons so of course it's a re tool and a redeco of the skids mold you can see we've got skid we've got the doors coming down whereas the doors go out there we've also got the wheels on the side whereas the wheels are tucked behind there so a few image uh, a few differences to be honest again at the back it looks a little different you've got the addition of the wheel on the back um, and there from the side you can see the doors are down whereas them are up so again i'm really excited for this figure can't wait to see him and there's a full comparison i think the head sculpt is it's so g1 it's crazy it's so so good really looking forward to that moving on you can see this here so this is a new third party company this is metagate and this is their g01 and it's called haiku and it's you're going to notice it if you've not seen this before these photos are by, by i am on fire by the way and they're fantastic photos and this is haiku and it is of course age of extinction drift so there's the alternate mode that people aren't particularly too excited about of course the helicopter but you'll do you do find that with triple changes there's always one mode that suffers and unfortunately it looks like it's that one the robot though looks absolutely stunning are just amazing fully articulate um on tformers.com there's about 56 images of this guy if you want to see it um again fully posable loads of different backgrounds there's him from the back he just looks an amazing figure to be honest um there's the other alternate mode which of course this looks amazing now he's 20 centimeters tall as well so it's not as if it's a small you know deluxe figure it's a nice size um, and the alternate mode again, as I say, stunning. There's the robot mode again, with just a different background with the swords. It's just a great character, to be fair. Right, moving on, two final things. These are DZNR plushes. And these are very interesting because you can see, if you have a look underneath it, it says Megatron, what's inside? And the same for Optimus Prime. So half of the plush is what you would expect the normal character to be. And then the other half is I suppose what they would imagine to be inside so circuitry circuit boards computer discs etc there's the box so again it's showing exactly what you've got 
normal, I suppose, chibi, plush, funny sort of style. And then the what's inside, all the mechanics and all the inner workings. And there you go. So these are, you can see in the bottom corner, the ZNR plushes. Moving on, final thing. We saw the Megatron Beast Wars statue on Wednesday. This is, of course, Optimus Primal's version. These were showcased at San Diego Comic-Con. This guy's a little cheaper than the Beast Wars Megatron, to be honest. The Megatron one was $500. This one is $400, but he's still 14 inches tall. And as you can see, you can see how they've changed and moved around some of the effects, the arms, etc. These are like, I suppose, poseable statues, for want of a better word. And again, stunning. Absolutely no place in my collection, to be honest, but stunning. And for the people who love them, um, yeah, they just look fantastic, don't they? So there we go. That is this part of the news update. With regards to the channel, I've got a very, very important and super special unboxing arriving first thing tomorrow morning so i'm going to do an unboxing video on that and a big huge thank you and i suppose some pretty exciting news about the channel regarding that unboxing so that's going to be done tomorrow with regards to figures i of course need to do spindle the other half of um impact is box i'm just looking at the box right in front of me i'm going to be doing quick mix the one of the original target masters from g1 i'm hopefully my motor master did come actually my motor master did come so thank you philip robot recruits there he is only problem being i've got an absolutely mental weekend so maybe might not get it done hopefully get it done as soon as i can obviously um and um yeah, again, I'll just get back to the list and trying to crack on with everything else. Um, I managed to get a Earthrise wheel jack, which I didn't have as well. So I might just stick him in as well now and then. But of course, G1 is the main. G1 is the main goal. That is exactly what I'm going to be discussing with the special unboxing tomorrow. Can't wait to get the figure. Can't wait to tell you what it is. And huge thank you again to everybody watching this. Thank you to channel members. I'm going to be doing a channel membership update soon again. I know I keep saying I need to be doing it and I've got to be doing it, but I want to do it at the right time. Um, that information's coming up soon. But again, anything else, guys, let me know. Drop me a comment. I love the interaction and the feedback. It's great doing this and it's great to be a Transformers collector at this particular moment. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.